Hi there, this is Oprichaka. I'm a Chief of Accounting, Business Studies, EMS, as well as Research. If you're watching this, you're definitely at the right place. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your bottom right. And once you're done with that, you can definitely make sure that you leave your comments on the comment section. And once you're done with that, you can definitely make sure that you also tell your friends to watch this video, to like this video, and to also subscribe to this channel. And this will help us to be able to grow as an online learning community. If you're in Hammerskrell, I'm pleased to let you know that Y Education SA is hosting some, some contact lessons that are taking place at Tusanang Daycare Center next to Mabuadro Primary School. And all you have to do to become part of us is to pay a once-off fee of 100 rand. And from there, you'll be expected to pay 250 per subject. A month so if you want to become part of us on your first month you are going to be paying 100 rand of registration plus 500 of the two subjects that you would have chosen if you want to join us you can get in touch with us by using the contact details that will appear right on the screen if you want me to become your online tutor, I'm pleased to let you know that HLK Tutorials is hosting some online lessons that are taking place on a daily basis. And all you have to do to become part of us is to choose a subscription that is suitable for you, pay it, and then request your lesson. Once you are done with that, we will be able to give you the lesson of your choice. On online lessons, we only have three packages that are available and you can choose any of the packages that I'm going to mention. Package number one is only 350 per month and you'll be getting two online lessons that are recorded as they occur. So you pay 350 per month, you get two online lessons per week, which are recorded as they occur. Package number two is only 250 per month and you'll be getting one online lesson that is recorded as it occurs plus one pre-recorded lesson per week. Package number three is only 150 and you'll be getting one online lesson that is recorded as it occurs a week if you feel like online lessons are expensive for you i'm pleased to let you know that we also have got contact lessons that are also taking place on a weekly basis and if any of these options that i'm going to mention are suitable for you please choose it pay it and get in touch with us so that we can be able to make your academic problems a thing of the past on package number one it's only 450 and you get two contact lessons per week package number two is only 350 per month and you get one contact lesson per week Hi there, welcome to the new lesson of the week and we're going to be looking at an annual insurance premium. This is one of the transactions that most learners struggle with and as I was teaching grade 10 learners, I realized that most learners actually have a challenge with the insurance premium transaction because they are saying that it was paid on a specific day. So I thought, you know what, let me do this and put it on YouTube for other learners who are doing accounting to also be able to see it. So we're going to be doing the annual insurance premium adjustment together and we will do the things that are supposed to be done so that we can have the correct insurance figure in the income statement then if you want me to help you with a personalized lesson you're welcome to use the details that are currently displayed on the top right of the screen with that out of the way let's get into the lesson so now before you do anything, you need to ask yourself, what is the beginning of the year and when is the end of the year? So let's get into, let's look at the trial balance to get it. Through. So here they're telling us that this trial balance is on 28 February 2020. So meaning that the end of the year, the, the beginning of the year will be 1 March 2020 and then to 28 February 2021. Um, which is what we are interested in so anything that is outside February must be subtracted because we're doing an adjustment remember we're going to be told when this thing uh, the insurance premium was paid and then we have to look at the months 
that the insurance premium is actually supposed to cover so this is the transaction that we'll be dealing with they're saying that an annual insurance premium of 7200 the moment i see annual and then the weight premium i know that the payment it is for 12 months because this is something that they pay um each and each and every year at a specific date and they're saying that it was paid on 30 september 2020 and if you look at this 30 september 2020 is the end of the month so the covering will start on 1 october it will start to cover um the premium will start to be deducted um you know in our books we'll start to record that when it's like this if the end um is 30 september it means that the beginning is 1 october okay so we're going to have 1 october to 30 september and all we have to do here is to really draw our we need to draw our financial period so it will really help us we know that we are starting the year on march so we're going to have march april may june july august september october november december january and february so this is where our year is supposed to end and remember this is february um this is the 28th of february 2021 okay and then it is the end and then this is the beginning beginning which is one march okay so we need to check how much is our insurance premium per month remember if it was paid on 30 september uh 2020 2020 is here um 30 september remember this is 30 september um 2020 so it will start to cover from next month i get when we start counting we'll start counting from october 2020 and so meaning that our insurance premium is actually supposed to cover this month so what we are expecting is for it to cover this month could you pay it each and every year on 30 september and then um it's supposed to only cover them the following month up until the end of the year so from october because this was paid on 30 september we're not gonna count 30 september because it is at the end of the month so we'll start counting from the next month which will be um october november december january and february so our insurance was only supposed to cover for five months this five months one two three four five it was only supposed to cover the period one october 2020 and then up until 28 february 2021 and then so we need to take care of that okay so we need to check how much is the insurance premium uh per month and then we'll know that from the adjustment so they are telling us that that annual premium um was 70 i mean uh 7200 so what we will do we need to show our workings so we're going to say um 7200 and then we divide it by 12 for us to be able to know how much they were paying each and every month so if you take 7200 uh, let me do it like this if you take 7200 7200 and then you divide it by 12 it will give us the monthly premium that they were paying so it means that each and every month they were paying 600 and then we check how many months were we actually supposed to cover we were only supposed to cover uh, five months so meaning that anything from anything else outside is um has been prepaid okay so we have one two three four five these are the five months that we were actually supposed to cover with our insurance premium so what we're we going to do it means that if we look at our financial year our financial year is made up of 12 months so if we subtract five then we will know how many months are we prepaid okay so we've been pre we have prepaid insurance uh for around seven months so if you take uh, 5 plus 7 it will give you 12 so it means that the subtraction that we're going to do we're going to to take um this 600 and then we multiply it by 7 and that's the amount that we are supposed to subtract from the income statement so let's do it quickly 
600 multiply by 7 it is giving us 4200 so this is the amount that we have to subtract on the income statement so in the income in the income statement and then under other operating so it's actually operating expenses under operating expenses we are going to have our insurance so we have um, insurance and then you need to enter the amount that we are given in the um, trial balance so we need to quickly check that amount in the trial balance we are told that the insurance figure is 44,000 it is this one so we are going to say um, 44,000 and then we say subtract that 4,200 that has been uh, prepaid it has been paid in advance so we must subtract it to keep everything in a period of two uh but again 12 months so if we say 44,000 and then we say minus 4,200 we will get our actual insurance expense which is 39,800 and that is how you, you are actually supposed to treat an annual insurance you just check um an annual insurance premium you just check quarry when does, does the covering start and then um when will it actually and remember the insurance premium has got its own financial period so you just need to establish its own financial period okay or what you can do you can check when will the covering start if something i paid let's say for example i bought um a vehicle on the 30th of september when we calculate the depreciation we're not going to start at the end of the month we're going to start at the beginning of the following month so even when you look into the insurance premium coverage it will start the same way we will have to start covering at the beginning of the next month okay i hope um this has really helped and that it has you know minimized your chances of not getting this transaction correctly so please make sure that every time when you have an insurance premium you establish the financial year of the business and also the financial year of the insurance premium so that you can be able to know whether you are supposed to decrease it or increase it and if you want me to help you with this lesson on a personal level please make sure that you book your lesson using the details that are currently displayed on the screen and also don't forget to share this lesson with your friends subscribe to this youtube channel it is free to do so you don't have to pay anything and with that out of the way um, have a blessed night. May God richly bless you. Shalom.